I believe this is the best book that I've written. Not only I've ever written, but I feel like this is one of the best books that you'll ever read. And because I feel like that, I have an unwavering belief that you need to read the book. Good morning. I'm gonna read from this book, Live the Life You Deserve. This is my brand new book. It comes out August 20th, published by Hay House. Hay House is the number one publisher of personal development work in the world. It's an honor to be able to publish a book on the number one publisher in the world, also being published by Penguin Random House. It's just an honor to be an author, to be validated, to be able to bring you words that people trust and believe in. So let's just dive in. Become the deliberate creator of your life by mindfully designing your thoughts and speaking them into existence. Your words hold the power to shape your reality. So speak in a hopeful and positive way about what you can do, what is possible, and why things will work out in the best way. Embody your dreams with unwavering belief and passionate emotion to manifest them. Become the deliberate creator of your life by mindfully designing your thoughts and speaking them into existence. This is from the book, Live the Life You Deserve. So there is so much to unpack here. Let's just start at the beginning. You know, growing up, I had one of those fathers who he used to always say things like, be mindful what you say, be mindful of how you speak. When I would say, daddy, I can't do this or I can't do that. He would say, don't say what you can't do. Don't talk about what you can't do. Talk about what you can do. You know, talk about what's possible. When it comes to the law of attraction, being mindful of my language, being a deliberate creator of my words, that comes from my mother and my father. They were always, always on me. My mom used to always say to me, you know, you know how some parents would say, you know, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything. My mom would say, if you don't have anything intelligent to say, be quiet. <laughs> my mom is a savage, all right? <laughs> she doesn't want any of her kids to be stupid and none of her kids are stupid. All three of my brother and sister, I mean, we've, we made some dumb decisions, of course, in life, because all humans have, but we're intelligent people. And that's because my mom was making sure that we were reading, we were journaling, we were studying the dictionary, the thesaurus, we were watching documentaries. And my parents, I'm so thankful that I had those type of parents because they made it where you have to be a deliberate creator of your reality and you have to be mindful of your thoughts. So for anybody you know, watching this right now, I want you to be mindful of how you think, how you're thinking about your journey, you know, how you're thinking about your success, how you're thinking about your failures, how you're thinking about your story. Everything works together. Like it all, it all works together. It all flows together. Become the deliberate creator of your life by mindfully designing your thoughts and speaking them into existence. I cannot express to you the power in designing your thoughts. Right, like get out a piece of paper and just start drawing and don't think about what you're drawing and just draw 10 minutes, 20 minutes. By the time you're done, no matter what your level of skill is as an artist, as a drawer, the, the, the art is going to look beautiful because you're just mindfully creating and you're just drawing and you're just you're just making strokes. Right now, I want you to do that same exercise every day for the next 10 days and draw the same thing over and over and over. Whatever you drew the first day without thinking, just draw the same thing over and over. Let's say it was a it was a house with some clouds and a railroad track. And let's say you kept going by the 20th day, the 30th day, you would have the most beautiful background. The, the clouds would be beautiful. The train will look so realistic. Your house would be perfect. You would even have shadows on the house and you, it would just look so good. That's the power of, like I say here, mindfully designing right so mindfully designing your thoughts you can do that the same way you you would draw a painting or draw a picture right if you're if you're an artist and you're working on a song some people can do a song right away some people go back to the studio and and they do another hook they do another chorus they do another bridge they do the part again they breathe differently and they're mindfully creating you know when you write a book you're not just like all right here you go here's the book it took me two years to write this book you're looking at every word. You're looking at the cadence. You're looking at the language. 
you're mindfully crafting. And that's how I want you to show up in your relationships, your relationship to money, your relationships to food, your relationship with your kids, your relationship with God, your relationship with your family. Like I want you to show up mindfully as a deliberate creator. You're deliberately creating this. You're showing up and you're, you're just creating art every day, every day. You're just creating. The next thing I said in here is your words hold the power to shape your reality. So speak in a hopeful and positive way about what you can do, what is possible and why things will work out in the best way. Look, here's the here. Here's the deal. In life, there's loss. You're going to lose. Like you're you're going to lose. You're going to get punched in the mouth. Now, hopefully not literally, and I, I mean that you know metaphorically. Hopefully you don't get punched in the mouth. Hopefully you you know you can block a little bit here. Uh, you know, dodge. Uh, you know, counter punch. <laughs> Throw something back at him, right? Um, but the same thing. Like if we were to take that boxing analogy, that's life. You can't just let life punch you, right? You you have to punch back. You have to counterpunch. You have to catch a little bit, right? And so I want you to always think about how you can fight back and how how you can do what you think you you want to do. Like, where is this where is this coming from where it's like, oh well, you can't do this and you can't like how do you know? Do you know how many people come to me and they're like, Sylvester, I want to write a book. What's your best tip? And my tip is, okay, we're start writing. And then people look at me like, oh, well, that's not enough. Like you've written 10 books and that the best thing you can tell me is to start writing. Yeah, you've written zero books. <laughs> you've written zero and you're asking me how to write one. You start writing. That's it. Oh, you want to get more specific? Well, you haven't started writing. You haven't started writing. That's the first step. Hey, I want to lose weight. Well, start walking. That's it. Yeah, start walking. Start moving your body. Right. Start designing what you want. That's it. Once you start writing, guess what? After you write a little bit, guess what you have? You have an outline. After you have an outline, guess what you have? You have chapter titles. After you have chapter titles, guess what you have? You have ideas about what goes in those chapter titles. Guess what happens after you put ideas into those chapter titles? You have chapters. Guess what happens once you write the first three chapters? You have the opening of the book. Guess what happens when you write the next four chapters? You have the middle of the book. Guess what happens when you write the last three to four chapters? You finish the book. Then you send it to an editor. The same thing applies to our life. Hey, I want to go back to school. I want to get my master's degree. Well, apply. Hey, I want to take this girl. I really like this girl at this coffee shop and I wanted to go ask her for a number. Like go design it, go craft the pathway for what you want to happen and be hopeful about it. If you're the person that's like, hey, I want to write the book. Well, you have to be hopeful about it. If you're the person that's like, hey, I got to ask this girl out. You have to be hopeful about it. If you're the person that's like, hey, I need to lose 100 pounds. Be hopeful about it. Got to keep hope. Hope is the emotion that we need when, when things get tough, when things get hard. All these journeys that we're on are emotional journeys. You need hope. Right. When I was writing this book for two years, I have no idea if someone's going to buy this book. I don't know that. It doesn't matter how many people follow me on social media. It doesn't matter if if I had books that were successful in the past. None of that has to do with this book right now. You don't know. You have no clue. I'm hopeful that people will buy the book the whole time I was writing it. I'm hopeful that people will get something out of the book, but you don't know. There's no guarantees. So that's why you have to stay hopeful and you have to stay positive because a positive mindset is going to carry you through all the things that happen in life. Embody your dreams with unwavering belief and passionate emotion to manifest them. Unwavering belief. I strongly believe that this is one of the best books that not only I've ever written, but I feel like this is one of the best books that you'll ever read. I believe that there's nothing that anyone can say to change my belief. Like this is the best book that I've written. And because I feel like that, I have an unwavering belief that you need to read the book. So I want you to take that same framework and apply it to your life. Like I feel like I'm a great partner. So I want to take you out on a date and I want to show you that. I feel like I would be great working at this company. Uh, so I would love an opportunity to work with you and work with your team so I can show you and prove to you uh, that I'm a great asset. 
I feel like we can get through this hard time if we stick together, if we band together as as team, as partners, as brothers, as sisters, whatever the relationship is. I feel like we can get through this. And I have an unwavering belief that even though this time is hard, we can get through this if we stick together. Right. And then lastly, we'll end here. You know, passionate emotion to manifest your dreams. Like when it comes to writing these books, I'm passionate about it. This is what I do. This is where my passion is. This is where this is where my heart is. I'm 100 percent going to be about these books. I'm either reading to enhance my brain. I'm writing to get my pen right. I'm editing. I'm coming up with different quotes, different ideas. I'm about this life. And that's the type of conviction that I want you to have for all the things that you value as well. Like you can't be wishy-washy. That's what my dad used to call it. You can't be wishy-washy. You have to be all the way in, full commitment, passionate about it. Like this is what you do. My dad was a chef, right? So when it came time to cook, even when he was cooking at home, he was about that life. Season. So whatever it is that, that you do, and it, don't think vocation or career. It doesn't have to be money. It's just whatever it is that you do, even as a as a as a friend, as a mom, as a partner, whatever it is that you do, do it right. Do it with conviction. Do it with passion. Like don't just go through life living in this gray area where there's no passion. Right? Passion keeps you alive. Passion keeps you alive and, and, and thriving. Passion keeps you engaged. Passion keeps you fighting for the life that you want. So my friend. Keep passion as a part of your life. And I'll read you this quote one more time and we'll wrap here. Become the deliberate creator of your life by mindfully designing your thoughts and speaking them into existence. Your words hold the power to shape your reality. So speak in a hopeful and positive way about what you can do, what is possible and why things will work out in the best way. Embody your dreams with unwavering belief and passionate emotion to manifest them. This is from the book, Live the Life You Deserve. Go order it right now. Pre-order it from Amazon. I read the audio book myself on Audible. So go ahead and grab that book on Audible as well. You can get it from wherever you order books. It ships all over the world. My name is Sylvester McNutt III, best-selling author of 10 books, Science to Hay House. Thank you so much for being here on my YouTube channel. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great week. So see you in the next one. Live the life you deserve.